What's up? It's Jay Pro. Today we have a beginners only reflex bag boxing workout. So if you've had your bag for over three months, get the heck out of here. You heard me gone. Get. Now I'm just kidding. It never hurts to brush up on the fundamentals, but I'm telling you right now, this is a beginner workout in the truest form. So sneakers on, check. Water nearby, check. We jump into a warm up in 10 seconds. You look good in the okay, so let me start by saying it's been a long day. So if I'm acting a little wild, a little crazy, we'll chalk it up to that. We're gonna open up with arm circles going backwards for 30 seconds. And let me follow up by saying is that this is designed to be a boxing workout for new reflex bag or cobra bag owners. Now we're gonna switch directions here. It doesn't mean you can't follow along and do this workout with a heavy bag or double end bag, or any other homemade device you might have, but it's designed with the reflex cobra bag in mind. Now we're gonna go to leg circles, opening up those hips. So I'll tell you a little bit about the motivation. So I went back and I looked at some of the beginner workouts that I first posted. And they are beginner workouts, but they're also not. If I was new to boxing and I was a first time reflex bag owner, and I'd be like in this beginner workout, you have me throwing a one, one, two, four. We're gonna go to a torso twist. Doubling up on the lead hand and doubling up on the rear. It's like, it is beginner, but it inspired me to create a true beginner workout. We're here for 15 seconds in this torso twist. We can open it up now. Last 30 seconds, we'll get right into a boxer bounce. So I'm in my stance and I'm shifting my weight from rear to lead. So if you're doing something like this, or something like this, I've seen it all. We're just shifting our weight, rear, lead. That's a boxer bounce on the balls of our feet. Okay, last minute of the warm up, we're gonna go into a little freestyle shadow box. So you just wanna move around your space, nice and balanced practicing some of your punches. Nice and slow, we're not going crazy here. We're visualizing, we're feeling our body move. We use a punch number system, so you line up in your stance, you've got your dominant hand and leg in the back, with that back leg just out in front of the lead leg, so I'm on train tracks here, not a balance beam, train tracks. Then we've got the one, which is the lead straight, the two, which is the rear straight. The three is the lead hook, pivoting my feet. Four is the rear hook. We're gonna stick with those four punches today, but we also have a five lead uppercut, and the six is the rear uppercut. So, grab a sip of water. We're gonna jump into round one in one minute. All right, so assuming that you're using a bag and gloves, Let's throw those gloves on now. While we're waiting for the first round to start, I'm gonna tell you what this workout is not, and then I'm gonna tell you what it is. So what it is not is gonna be an all out, crazy, insane, letting them fly, going crazy, out of control, Ryan Garcia speed workout, but we're gonna get there. This workout is not super glorious, it's not super sexy. You're not gonna wanna post highlights on Instagram but it's gonna walk you through the very basics of using your bag and starting to develop a rhythm. We're gonna go through a lot of the fundamentals, nice and slow, and it's an opportunity for you to discover your timing, your rhythm with your bag, and it's gonna open up a lot of fun stuff later on. So, follow my pace, you'll be good to go. And yeah, we're still gonna get a workout in though. Don't get it twisted. 
First 30 seconds, we're gonna open up just tapping that one. If this is your first time boxing and you're using a Cobra bag or a reflex bag, this is literally the pace you wanna go. When you put on gloves and you get excited, you have the urge to wanna go fast, but we're building a rhythm here. Now we're gonna switch over and we're gonna work the two for 30 seconds. Pivoting the hip, try a nice full extension. This is literally the speed that you wanna go at. And once you start to feel comfortable, you can, you can pick up the pace a little bit. But you don't wanna rush that process. This is all about learning the timing of your bag. Next 30 seconds, back to the one. The goal is to develop a rhythm. Assuming you watched my three steps for approaching training, you know that's what it's all about here. 15 seconds. You go at your own pace. If you wanna jump ahead of me, you can, but don't start doing this, right? That's not boxing. That's not really gonna get us to work out. Better to go slow with full extension. Now back to the two. Start to pick it up a little bit. But the key indicator here is maintaining control of the bag. If I'm starting to miss like crazy, it's okay to miss, but if I don't feel in control, I'm going too fast. This is all about putting the building blocks in so we can get into the advanced combos, we can get into the fun stuff, we can get into that other beginner workout where we're doing a one, one, two, four. I don't know what I was talking about with that. Last minute, we're just gonna freestyle, practicing the straight punches. So you can be either planted, you can alternate. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can move around, come in at different angles. We're just freestyling with the straight punches. If you start feeling yourself, you can start to get a little swaggy with it, but don't get too swaggy. Sorry, getting, I gotta take my own advice. Last 30 seconds, we're still freestyling here. Just practicing those straight punches. Hish. Last 15 seconds. Hish. 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 Still getting a workout, but maintaining control. These are the building blocks to build up that one, one, two, four. I don't know what I was doing. This is the beginner workout. You just got through round one. We're gonna jump into round two in one minute. All right, how are we feeling? Like I said, not super glorious, but these are the building blocks. The building blocks, long day. Like I said, the goal at the end of this workout is really simple. It's to walk away feeling like you have a little bit more control with your bag. The spiritual side of me says you be you've become one with your bag a little bit more. That's really what it's about because you can't skip to the good part. We learned that from Instagram. You can't skip to the insane stuff. This is years in the making. This is no social life, no nothing, just in this room, boxing. <laughs> and we'll get there, but we wanna first develop timing and control. So we're gonna do a similar format going into round two, drilling the straight punches, nice and long, nice and slow but we're gonna mix up the pace a little bit. So follow along with me. You're getting right in front of your bag. First 30 seconds, we're gonna go back to just working that one. If you are brand new, and I mean brand new, this is literally the speed. I made a reel on Instagram today about a squeaky bag and literally my bag started squeaking. It's never been squeaky. Five seconds here with the one. Now we're gonna switch back over to the two. You notice that every time I hit it, I'm getting a better sense of how this bag moves, of how my power affects the bag, of how I hit it, 
If I hit it straight on or if I hit it like this, that's what it's all about here. Five seconds. Bring the power when you're ready, but don't jump ahead. So now we're gonna put those two together and we're gonna go to a one, two. Whatever speed you want. If you wanna do one, two, that's fine. A little quicker. One, two. If you wanna learn real boxing technique, Elbows tucked, chin tucked, hands back. If you're boxing for fitness, wellness, nice and loose, you have fun with it. Now, we're gonna go to a flow one, two. So this is gonna be our continuous pace. And this is the one time where we don't have to really worry about full extension. We can get nice and close, because this is an active recovery. The goal is to be able to get to this pace, or faster. So you go at whatever pace is right for you. Okay, now 30 seconds. We're gonna work a one, one. One, one. Let's switch over now, let's work a two, two. Bring the power and speed as you're ready. For the remainder of the round, freestyle, doubling up on your punches. So either a one, one or a two, two, whatever you want. Alternate if you want, have fun, get loose. I'm sweating. And time. Nicely done, we're already halfway through. By now you should really start to feel a little bit more one with your bag, like you have a little bit more control with those straight punches, because we're gonna start bringing hooks into the mix, and that's where it's gonna get a little spicy. We're halfway through, we're going into the second half, and this is where things are gonna get a little weird, because we're gonna start bringing the hooks in. Now, pro tip with hooks, if you're a true beginner, sometimes the hooks feel a little weird, the key is that you're pivoting your foot and you're rotating your torso to drive the punch through. So if your feet are like cement and you're doing this, you wanna really start to kind of work on that. Little bend at the knees, pivoting my foot and rotating my torso. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. If the hooks still feel a little weird, you go back to the straight punches. There's nothing wrong with that. It's better to go slow in your development than to jump ahead. It's just gonna be more frustrating and it's gonna take a lot longer to feel comfortable. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna open up and we're just gonna work that three for 30 seconds. The key is gonna be nice and slow. So you approach your bag and we work that three. You notice my speed here. Because if I start going fast, it's much harder to time. So it's better to be slow. 10 seconds here. If you wanna challenge yourself, move around the bag and come in at different angles. Nice and controlled. Now we're gonna switch over and just work the four. That's our rear hook. You bring the speed and the power as you go. Key thing is our upper body is nice and relaxed, nice and loose. Like we're taking a walk in the park. So they better be nice to us on our walk in the park. All right, now 30 seconds. Let's go back to that three. If you wanna jump ahead of me even more, you start to double up on it. Three, three. That's the way to jump ahead. Three, three. If you're not there yet, just one at a time. Feel that rotation. All right, next 30 seconds, back to the four. Three, 
Don't forget to breathe. Shh. Shh. You want to exhale for every punch. Seriously, do it. These are the habits you want to develop early on. A short exhale on every punch is a big one. Now for the last minute, we're going to freestyle, focusing on the hooks. So mix up your threes, your fours. And if you want, bring some of those straight punches. The freestyle is really your time alone with your bag where I'm ordinarily not talking so much. Feel out that bag, mix up your ones and twos, your three. If you miss, that's cool, stay balanced. If you miss and you get frustrated, oh, uh-uh. Nope, if you miss, you just stay balanced. 15 seconds here. Whoops, uppercut slipped. Ish. Last five seconds. Ish. Ish. One more three. Ish. All right, nicely done. The hooks are not easy. If you're a beginner boxer, throwing on a heavy bag, they're not easy. Let alone a moving target, it's really tough, but it's all about practice. You will get there, I have no doubt about it. Quick sip of water, and then we go into the fourth and final round of this beginner workout. Ish. All right, that's it. We're coming up on the fourth and final round. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're starting to get control a little bit with your bag. If you feel like you're not there yet, it's okay. Just stick with it, I promise. I work with private, uh, private training clients here in uh, New York City. Almost all of my clients have zero boxing experience and every single time, every client, they hate using this thing. It feels uncomfortable, they can't get it down, and then every single time it ends up being their favorite tool to use. It just, that click, it happens differently for everyone, but if you stick with it, you take your time, you will get there. We're gonna have fun in round four because round four is gonna be our combination round. We're throwing all combinations this round. Remember when it's a combo, it's not gonna be just non-stop in place like working the single punches. You wanna throw that combination and then either wait a second or move around. So the first combo is gonna be a one, two, one, two. That's it. Then a little movement. One, two, one, two. You go at whatever speed allows you to have control. I want to hear you breathing. All right, next combo is going to be a one, two, three. Nice and slow. You can see the hooks really start to throw that bag around, which is why you want to go nice and slow. So you start to feel that rhythm out. Five seconds here. Ish, ish. Ah. All right, now for one minute, we're gonna put them all together. The combo is gonna be a one, two, three, four. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. And then move. Take your time, we're here for one minute. Ish, 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 ish. Ish, 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 ish. And by the way, if it spins out, there's nothing wrong with centering it. We do that in boxing, we get them up against the ropes, we wanna hold our opponent there. So if you need to center it, there's nothing wrong with that. But the more practice you get hitting it in rhythm, even though it might not be fun or comfortable at first, the better it's all gonna come along. One, two, three, four. Anytime you're throwing a combination, that power shot, comes at the end. In this case, it would be the four. Let's throw one more with a little power. Ish, 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 ish. All right, 30 seconds. We're gonna go to a one, two, flow. Remember, this is our short range. 
nice and light. So if you're able to match my speed here, go for it. It's easier to control the bag this way. It's a great way to practice because it's short range. This is a really nice way for me to control my bag. All right, last 30 seconds. It's a speed freestyle, all out. Whatever you want, have fun with it. Get loose, loose and relaxed. Practice those hooks, those straights, a little head movement if you want. Anything you want. 10 seconds here, let's go. One more, let's do that one, two, three, four combo together. Ready? One, two, three, four. And time. Nicely done, you just got through this four round beginners only reflex bag boxing workout. Hopefully you walk away from this feeling like you have a little more control, a little more confidence, and a little more freedom, and you're one step closer to building up that Ryan Garcia speed. I know you can get there. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the workout today and subscribe to the channel for free weekly boxing workouts. I'm dropping a new one every week. We got advanced combinations, we got strength workouts, whatever you need, it's in there. So have a great rest of your day or night and I'll see you real soon. Ish, 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 ish.